Hello and welcome back my wonderful Trails in the Sky fans. Right, so the beginning of today's episode is going to be catching up with the lovely folks of Bows. So let's see how everyone's doing. The manager always says he runs this place as a hobby, and he acts like that's why it's such a great establishment. Rumour has it the owner of Antarose says the exact same thing though. But I think their obsessions are on two different levels entirely. This bar was originally founded more on a whim than anything else. I wish I could take it easy and didn't have to worry so much about criminals and prophets and such. I study creatures that lived in the old world before the great collapse. Beings that surpassed mankind's potential and indeed were almost godlike. Indeed, I speak of the ancient dragons. Oh hey, I remember hearing about them in Sunday school. They were around in La Belle too, up until just a few decades ago, right? But they stopped showing up around the time augment technology was first discovered. Joshua, you've got a real dumb look on your face. Something the matter? It's probably just surprised you actually knew something. No, nothing. I'm just surprised that you actually remember something you learned in school. Shocked, really. Yep, I knew it. How rude. Of course I paid attention. Huge, cool things with wings like that? I totally want to see one myself. Just thinking about them gets me all worked up. Haha, <laughs> I can relate. That's why I've been journeying to exotic lands in search of information. Wow, dragon, that'd be cool. Won't do me any good to just keep crying about this. It's my own fault the workshop got attacked. I should have been more careful. Well, no sense in giving up. That's not the bow's way. Time to roll up my sleeves and try again. Murano of the Trino household is kind of like the vice mayor, except she also kind of runs the place all by herself. The Borden household is pretty influential too, sure, but Miss Murano is the real shadow mayor here, hands down. Uh, hotel, we're not going to be going there because that will start a quest. So that will be the last place that we go to. So let's go ahead and head into the International Port. To tell you the truth, I'm getting tired of waiting for flights to resume. Maybe it would be best if I tried again later. If flights remain cancelled much longer, it could affect the reputation of the corporation. There's never been an accident and nothing like this has ever happened before either. I certainly hope we'll be able to properly explain what happened later. Even though there's not really much to inspect, I'm going to get yelled at if I look like I have nothing to do. I've got to do something to keep busy. It's really hard to look busy when I've got nothing to do. At present, there are two airliners which provide domestic flights for passengers in the Burl. There's the clockwise looping Linda and the counterclockwise looping Cecilia. Both were put into service in the same year, but the colouring is different. And if I remember right, the engine model in the Linda is older. Wow. So just two airships then. Must still be pretty rare at this point to create them. I don't think there'd be any harm even if the counterclockwise looping Cecilia were the only airliner making flights. But the fact that all flights have been grounded means that this must be a really big incident. Think that's everybody here to speak to. Let's head to the Antaros. So, uh, welcome, I guess. What's up with him? He seems pretty depressed. Yeah, his shoulders are drooping off the charts. I wonder if something happened. So Marion sure does like to eat, no? It's amazing. If I tell her there's delicious food to be had, she's packed and ready to go in a heartbeat. But as such, I must admit that I am never bored thanks to her unbridled enthusiasm for vines. There is a town to the northwest of here where the most delicious fruits are grown. Sadly, it lies partway up a mountain making it an impossible destination for one such as myself. Such a shame. The market became great around the time when that little lady's pappy served as our mayor. He was a real pioneer, pushing forward all kinds of measures to promote commerce and clearly it worked wonderfully. 
The current mayor then inherited all of that from her pappy. At first I didn't think much of her, but she's really proven herself a worthy successor. I previously worked as a waitress at a restaurant in Zeiss. The owner of this establishment happened by on business and we got to talking shop, so to speak. The wages seemed much better here than there, so I jokingly said to her, give me a job. And that's when she told me she was the owner. I'm so nervous, I can't even taste this. Huh, <laughs> seems almost like sacrilege. Wow, wee, that was delicious. Easy to see why this is La Belle's most highly rated restaurant, that's for sure. It was definitely worth the trip. A little luxury makes for a nice break every now and again. No, no, no. If I take it for that much money, I'm sure to suffer losses. I realise it's just words, but please listen to me. I'm trying to help here. This is simply no way to negotiate. No, no, no. I must absolutely must get it for this price. Right here, I won't accept any less. To say something like that at the very start. Come on, please. During the war, we weren't the only ones to take heavy damage. Poor Ravenue Village suffered the same fate. So there are quite a lot of us who share these awful memories. I am originally from the Empire. One day, the owner of this restaurant came to the establishment where I worked as an ordinary customer. She loved the wine I picked for her during her meal so much that shortly afterward I received a letter. A letter inviting me to work here. I decided to at least come to La Belle to see this restaurant and fell in love with it at first sight. The previous owner would never ever listen to me, but the current owner listens to even the most minuscule of nitpicks I may have. I'm very grateful to her for that, very grateful indeed. I mean she did make me chef without having ever met me or seen my face, so I'm a little worried about her mental stability, but still. I wonder who this mysterious owner is. I used to work as a cook at a bar in Ruan, but the owner here asked for me by name, and how could I say no to that? Apparently she took a real shine to my desserts. Yeah, I'm very curious as to who this mysterious owner is. They seem to be building her up at the moment. It seems like no matter which store I go to recently, they're getting low on their supplies. It looks like the airline is being grounded as to blame. They can't stock up on anything with those being out of commission. There's nothing I really want to buy, so I'm bored. The fruit coming from Ravenue Village knows no equal. We may lose to Roland when it comes to producing great vegetables, but Bose is definitely the place to be for fruit. Not to mention, it's one of the things we pride ourselves on as citizens of Bose. You know, Mina? Know what? Well, you know how you always nitpick at me? Do you hate me or something? If that was the case, I don't think I'd be here right now. What are you blushing about? I never said that I liked you either. Haha, <laughs> I should have figured as much. Ah, young love. I put in a notice that I'd be opening up a shop at the Bose Market. But it turns out they're not accepting them at the moment. It seems like there's been a lot of problems recently. Let's see, we've got the mayor's residence. Let's go speak to everyone in here. When Mayor Maybell was elected, she received a lot of backlash from those around her because of her age. However, because of numerous commercial policies and her efforts for the city, those who have seen her in action have gradually changed their minds. Trino and his daughter Murano are just a few of the influential merchants who support Mayo Maybell. It's almost tea time. I may be a klutz, but I'm just as skilled as Leela when it comes to pouring tea. I should be the one saying thank you. How is the investigation coming along? Well, to tell you the truth, we're having a hard time coming up with anything, but we have managed to gather a number of clues. Well, it's more like unreliable information than clues, but even still, we were thinking about heading over to Ravenue Village. Ravenue Village, but I heard the army had already finished its investigation there. 
I guess if that's the only clue we have to go on, maybe it's worth reinvestigating the place. Anyway, please keep me posted as to what you find. Well, small clue's better than no clue. Uh, let's see. So the Antaros is over there, so we've got the church and the market to investigate. Let's go to the church first. To the northwest of here, there is a village that cultivates fruit called Ravenue Village. Unfortunately, there is no chapel in the village. I'd be most delighted to have the children from there come here for Sunday school. Yeah, but that's quite the trip. We get a lot of people coming to the chapel to pray for the success of their businesses. But Adios, the goddess of all creation, is not a deity of fortune. I wonder if I should post a note on the door to tell people that this kind of sacrilege is unacceptable. Alrighty, and into the market we go. I get all my fruit from Ravenue Village. The village used to be a thriving place from its mining industry, but now it's known for its orchards. The sponge cake looks so yummy. It's probably not okay for me to use the money I'm supposed to use for these errands, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wonder what I should do about a side dish today. I just can't decide what would sit well on the table. I thought I could decide once I got to the store, but now I'm here and I still don't know. The top dogs here in Bowes, aside from the mayor, would have to be Trino and Borden. However, recently Trino's daughter has been extending her sphere of influence. Let's see, if I remember right, her name is Murano. Anyway, she appears to have a knack for business and can hold her own against her father. So this is the Bose Market, huh? Pretty lively for a marketplace in a small country, if I do say so myself. Maybe I'll have to look around after I finish up with my business deals. Miss Maybell is the type of person who thrives the busier she is. She's just like her father in that respect, but I'm worried about her health. Even if the airliners aren't running, a true Bose merchant won't get discouraged so easily. How should I put it? A real Bose merchant knows how to innovate at times like this. Ho ho ho. The porcelain made in the Empire has an artistic quality in the absolutely gorgeous designs. Just the opposite, the porcelain from the Republic employs simple colours and patterns but its beauty comes out the more you use it. The varied and contrasting styles are why porcelain wares are so interesting. My father's growing fruit back at the village. The fruit we're selling here may be some of the fruit that my father grew. Originally, we were supposed to be running this business together as a family, but he chose to stay behind. Phew, I'm ready for a breather. I wonder how my husband's getting along back at the village. I just bought something by myself for the first time. It was some kind of sponge cake someone was selling near the fountain. A bunch of people were eating sweets over there so I joined in with them. I couldn't believe how good they were. What a great experience that was for me. Wow, this sponge cake has great reviews. All these books in the back are covered with dust and cobwebs. I should probably borrow a feather dusters from the shop owner and clean them off. Hi there and welcome. Stop by and see what we've got in stock. Right now, on sale. Believe it or not, we've got a luxury carpet from the Calvard Republic going for just 500 Mira. You heard it right, just 500 Mira, but that's not all. At regular price, this goes for 1500 Mira, but the price has been reduced to an amazing 500 Mira, but that's not all. If you buy one now, I'll even throw in a tapestry with matching patterns. Wow, she's really trying to get rid of that rug. Wow, this is really cheap. But if I buy this too, it'll just add to my already uh, substantial amount of luggage. I wonder if I can get someone to deliver it directly to my home in the Royal City. This is terrible. How could this have happened? I've spent all the money I have for today. No. I can't figure out when they're going to slash prices here. Unbelievable, my wife is set on buying more stuff. Not to mention she's just barely shopping here not a few minutes ago. 
I hope they can get these flights going again sooner rather than later. That girl at the confectioner's shop. Her sweets have gotten tons better since she started making them. I should know because I eat them every day and they just keep getting better and better. Oh sorry, my head's not quite in the game right now. Welcome. She's distracted by something. The clothes I designed and tailored myself are selling quite well. I think I'm going to try and make more with numerous variations. Who would have thought that Trina would be on the airliner that disappeared? Now Murano is taking care of all of her father's business deals in his stead. I know I shouldn't have expected anything less, but I hope she doesn't take on more than she can handle. Just have everyone around here to catch up with, and then we are done catching up. Store sales are going rather well. It bothers me that these craftsmen aren't very serviceable, but whatever. Haha, <laughs> now if I can just keep making money like this... I refuse to make anything that distorts my aesthetic tastes, but my new boss often makes demands for crude products, and just seeing his face alone makes my will to create wither like a dried reed. Wow. Really doesn't like her new boss. It looks like my husband's business is doing better than expected. Recently I've noticed a vibrant look in his face, so I'm happy for him. I'm gonna visit my dad's shop with my mum later on. I'm so excited. Ah, almost got trapped though. I really struggled a lot and worked hard when the market began. And I think it's because of that hard work and experience that I have my own shop now. I think learning to start at the bottom of the heap is important for everyone. Okay. So we've got these houses next. Sometimes I wonder why I ever married my husband. This was the worst mistake of my life. Men, no matter how old they get, have a little childish part in them. A part that makes them always want to chase after their dreams. Too bad that women can't seem to understand this. Things are not sounding good between those two. Borden's wife helps him with the business. I have tried to help my husband a few times with his work, but let's just say that the results weren't great. It looks like I'm best cut out for supporting my husband and Murano here at home. I'm sure that my husband's gonna walk through the door any minute with a nonchalant look on his face. Having the flight stopped has actually turned out to be good for business. I'm actually able to earn quite a lot more with my father, father temporarily out of the picture. But I'll try to pick up as much of the slack as I can for his work during this time. With the Bose airspace being designated a no-fly zone, businesses are being hit hard economically. Flights from the border are also being held up. At this rate, there'll be no deals to be made. But Murano seems to be hammering away under these conditions. And if she can do it, I can't give in either. My husband proceeds rationally with his deals and business talks. But Mr. Trino is the exact opposite. He pushes with vigour and flair. However, Miss Murano is getting together with both of them. She's almost like Maya Maybell in a number of ways. I don't even know what either of these people sell. It seems like my mum saw the culprits too. I wonder what Murano is doing right now. And he obviously seems to have a crush on Murano. Right, let's go pick up some new side quests from the guild. Oh, let's quickly double check if there's anyone here. Nope. So you're headed to Ravenue Village, are you? Then all you need to do is head along the West Bows Highway and turn off onto the trail about halfway down the road. The village can be easily reached by just following the trail. Ravenue Village, huh? 
always makes me think of, well, another bracer. If he were here, this would be no problem at all. So we've got an escort request. I am searching for someone who can escort me to the Chrome Pass checkpoint. A ferocious monster known as an Amber Turtle has been spotted on the new Anzul Path. So that is where we are going next. So I will cut out the video and I will meet you there. Alrighty, and here we are. So this is just pretty pretty similar to uh, the Amber Turtles we were fighting in the tower, except this time we don't get a preemptive strike on them. That shouldn't be too bad. They are all weak against fire. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Just try and defeat them with fire attacks. Firebolts. Firebolt two. We're gonna have you do an aerial. Perfect. One more should do it. Easy peasy. And down it goes. Alrighty. So now that that's elim eliminated, I will meet you back at the hotel in Bose. Alrighty, and here we are, just outside the hotel for Bose. And uh, just in case you need to know uh, where that extermination monster was um, it's just on the path just before you head to Valeria Lakeshore so just keep heading to Valeria Lakeshore and you can't miss it so let's see if there is anybody in here that's probably that heart guy that we need to speak to this hotel has maintained a high level of popularity ever since it was established it may be busy around here but this hotel is my life is my role as the current manager to find a future manager who can sustain these traditions. Just double check through the rooms in case there's anybody else to speak to. Can you believe this? The manager made me work when it was supposed to be my break time. Not to mention I had a table res reserved at the Antero's restaurant and it was all for nothing. That is pretty scummy. Alright, let's speak to this guy. Pardon us, but are you Mr. Hart? Huh? Did you by chance see my request on the bulletin board? Yep, that's right. Oh, you finally came, huh? I've been waiting around here forever. I need to get to Ruan ASAP, so I'm looking for an escort to take me to the Chrome Pass. What do you say? Do you think you can handle that? Yeah, sure. Boy, am I glad to hear that. You guys are just like saviors. I hear the mountain trail has a lot of monsters, so I'm too scared to walk it alone. But what are you going to do after you reach the checkpoint? I've got the guild taking care of that too. I've got a bracer from the Ruan branch coming to meet me there. Ah, I see. So what should we do now? Is everyone ready to go? No, I think we should meet up somewhere else later. We need to be prepared for the trip. That's fine by me. I'll be waiting at the west gate, so once you're ready to go, please come find me. Let's see, the west gate, huh? So you mean by the mayor's residence? Okay then, let's get to work, shall we? Roger that. Alrighty, so he should just be right here. Are you ready to go? Yep, we're good to go. Great, I'm ready myself. Alright then, I'll leave the rest up to you. The Chrome Pass is to the west of here. It's pretty far, so let's not get careless along the way. Understood. Let's get going, shall we? 
Uh, so this is an escort quest, so we do have an NPC following us. So I'm going to do my best not to get into any fights with any monsters on the way. Uh, and I'm going to skip these next couple of areas until we actually get to the Chrome Trail area. Um, just because we've all seen this environment before, so there's nothing new here. Just avoid the monsters and make your way to the Chrome Trail. Alrighty, and here we are just before we head onto the Chrome Trail, so let's go. So again, I'm going to do my best to try and avoid as many fights as I can. Just so we can protect the NPC. So I'm not going to be running through here like a headless chicken. There's a couple of chests to grab here. Don't forget to read it twice. The chest has been cleaned out. Villainous. Alright, and just before this bridge, there is a fight that you have to take part in. Huh? What's that? So make sure you save before you get here. Is this an ambush? But what are we going to do? Calm down. We've got you covered. There are monsters to the front and the rear. Alright then, it's time to... The best option to select here is going to be charge through the front. Charge through the front. Right, good call Estelle. It could be dangerous if you get split up. Right. I'll take care of the monsters in the front. Okay. So things are going to get a little shaky here. Because they can stun us when they attack. But we're going to do our best to use area attacks on them. Because hopefully if they do all group together, we can hit more than one of them at a time. Then we just clean up the remainder of the enemies. Just like so. Easy peasy. Alright, there's only a few of them left. Don't get careless. Again, we're just going to do what we did last time, because sometimes they cast from a distance and other times they will group up. So we're going to account for that and hopefully hit a few of them all at once. There we go. And then again, just tidy them up with a couple of regular attacks. Just like that, we're done. Phew. Somehow, we managed to get them all. Oh man, you guys really saved my hide. Hey, I told you everything was going to be alright, didn't I? I can't believe that we came out of this in one non-bloody piece. I gotta say, braces are something else. That was amazing how you took care of those monsters just like that. <laughs> When it comes to my skill with the staff, it's all over for those monsters. How about I give you a free performance while we're at it? Alright, alright, Estelle. Unfortunately, we'll have to pass, but how about another day? Let's clear out of here quickly. We could be attacked by monsters again if we stay here much longer. Yes, I'm in favour of leaving. Let's go, go, go. I will not be a monster snack. I will not be a monster snack. I will not be a monster snack. Come on, Estelle, we're moving out. Tch, fine. The checkpoint is just up ahead, so let's be extra careful until we arrive there. Okay. So there is another chest in this area, which is a red chest. You do not want to open that while you have the NPC with you. I believe it's down here. Yeah, it's just there. Because that has uh, monsters in there. 
And we don't want to do that while we have an NPC, because the NPC is useless in, in a fight. So we'll come back for that afterwards. Well, it looks like we finally made it. Whew, that was a pretty rough climb, huh? Well, we can breathe easy now. I think your escort from Ruan should be here any time now. And speak of the devil, look who's here. Good work, everyone. I'm Junior Bracer Melvin, registered with the Ruan branch. Good work yourself. This is your client, Mr. Hart. Please make sure he gets to Ruan safely. Will do. Just follow me, sir. I'll get you where you need to go. I'm your man. By adios, just how much coffee have you had, young man? But whatever, I'm counting on you to get me where I need to go. Alright, thanks for getting me up here, everyone. Have a good one. Good luck with your work. Haha, <laughs> right. I'm already late as it is, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, have a good day, fellow braces. That guy was really over the top energy wise. He said he was a junior bracer, right? Which means he's a trainee just like us working out of a branch. Yep, you're not the only ones. All junior bracers do that. They're working hard to become senior bracers. Oh man, it looks like I'm going to have to work harder. That's right. It wouldn't be right of us just to rely on Cheryl all the time. Haha, <laughs> it looks like that bracer stimulated your motivation a bit, didn't he? Let's see now. How about we get back and report to the guild? I'll have a quick chat to everyone here. Sky Bandits, huh? Sounds like a troublesome group. However, this time General Morgan is spearheading the investigation. It's only a matter of time until he's got this bunch locked up behind bars. This is due to the rugged terrain which covers the Crone Range. The Sky Bandits may just be hiding around here somewhere. Which is why the border garrison has already investigated this area on multiple occasions. General Morgan has issued an order to bolster security in the surrounding area. That's because we still don't know where the Sky Bandits are hiding. The mountainous areas are an especially good place for them to make a hideout. I need to tell my men to get squared away as well. Despite my appearance as a soldier in the Royal Army, I love to cook. I often get the chef's permission so I can cook here at the checkpoint. Just so you know, the traveller's quarters are over there, so feel free to use them whenever you need. I don't see any chef around here. Alrighty, let's go grab that chest. Forgot about that scorpion thing. We should be okay with this fight, but you never know. Monster appeared. Ah yes, the wisdoms. So we should just be able to... Can't quite target all of them. Oh. We target three at a time. And again, just using the area of effect attacks, mops them up quite well. If you can get them to all stay in the same space, that is. Hellgate does have the added bonus of sometimes getting a, a one-hit kill in. Alrighty, we are getting close here to becoming defeated. Go. We 
just tear on yourself. There we go. That was a little tougher, but we managed to get through it. We even got some extra HPs. And all that for a pearl layering, but the main reason that we're here is for the chest. The chest talk. What did you expect to find in here? Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for this area. So all we're going to be doing next is heading back to Bows to turn those quests in. So I think this is a good time to leave it here for today, folks. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you will know when the next episode comes out. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.